Hey Math 43, I had a question coming out of chapter three, number 84, and here we were playing a little bit of roulette. And here's your basic roulette table. I mean, this is this right here is a nice Google image if you've ever been um, to a casino. Uh, yeah, you, you put your chips here and then the game gets played there and we see what the role is. Now, when you put your chips somewhere, there's lots of possibilities. And let's just talk about the sample space before we get going on any of this. So. The sample space, in terms of the number of outcomes, when you roll this part of the wheel, all right, it will land on any, and actually let me get a different color pen so we can see it. It'll land on any of these options, and I want you to see there are, are black numbers, red numbers, and then you can see a little hint of a green here. And so if we take a look at this, there are, just through here, 36 numbers it could land on, but there's also the green zero and the green double zero. So when I talk about the sample space here, anytime you're playing roulette, there are 38 possible outcomes. And why it's good to count that is because that'll become our denominator in most of these problems. So when we see 84 and it says, hey, what's the probability, or calculate the probability of winning these following types of bets, when it says, that you're gonna bet on a certain color. So you can bet on red or you can bet on black. And so how this works, I want you to take note for both of these, the denominator is 38, right? Because there really are, if you go through here, there's 38 different numbers that that roulette ball can land on. Now, if we talk about betting on a certain color, if you, if you put your chip on red, and when you put your chip on red, you quite literally put your, oops, let me get that, you put your money here. Or if you bet on black, you put your money here, right? And that's, or I should say, that's where you put your chip. So if I put my chip here, what's the likelihood that I would win? Well, let's count. There are, if I go through here and count all the red numbers, give me a sec. Uh, nailed it. There we go. There are 18 of them out of 38 possible. And that's the same um, number for betting on black. There are 18 black numbers out of 38. And just as a side note, you can see they're not complementary. And what I mean by that is if you think about 18 and 18, the 18 red and the 18 black, that's only 36, right? And that's because we have the two green numbers. All right. So that's your total possible outcomes. Let me erase all this just because there's a bunch in here and I wanna clean it up for the rest of the problems. Okay, so let me erase all that shenanigans. All right, and that's where I'm getting 18 out of 38, or that simplifies to nine out of 19, but I just went with the decimal. All right, you can also bet on one of the dozen groups, meaning I can put my chip here, or here, or here. And just for the sake of going through this, let's say I bet on the first dozen. So if I put my chip right here, what will happen is if any of these numbers come up, I get paid, right? And now, if I'm talking about any of these numbers, if we think about the numerator, there are 12 of them because it's a group, it's a dozen, and then there were 38 possibilities. So that's where I'm getting that ratio. All right, let me clean that up. And then it says here, what's the probability of betting on the range from one to 18? So you can also, again, if you look, you can bet, there's so many bets in, in a casino. You can put your chip here, and then if any of these numbers pop up, right, you get paid. And how many are there? Well, there are 18. What was my sample space? 38. All right, And that's going to be the same thing for part D if I put my chip here and bet on 19 to 36. There's an 18 out of 38 chance that I'll get paid. All right, and then if you look at part E, it's asking you, hey, what's the probability of betting on a column? So if you bet on a column, right, if you think about here as a column, well, there are 12 numbers in each column out of 38 total. So, okay, I got that happening. And then part F says, what's the probability of betting on an even or an odd number? And they're excluding the zeros. So if I bet on even or odd, if we want to kind of take a look, oops, excuse me, as, as to what that's saying is you're going to bet on any of these numbers coming up, even or odd. Right, and really what that would mean is you'd put a chip here and you'd put a chip here at the same time, right? And there are 36 of those numbers out of 38. And so if you also just take a step back, you know, if you're thinking like, oh, I wanna bet on even or odd, there's still a chance that you would lose because the, the roulette table could pop up a, a zero or a double zero, right? So there's a 95% chance that you'd win on even or odd, but you can hear that you would still lose. That's why it's gambling, right? It's a, it is a gamble. All right, so there's number 84. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.